Well, for more, let's speak to Steve Keen, an economist who voted for Brexit but now supports the Remain camp. Hi, Steve. Thanks so much for speaking to us. First, just explain your views here. Why did you go uh, from Brexiteer to Remainer over the course of, uh, of these last two years? I haven't, gone, I haven't gone to Remainer. I've given up. I'm exasperated by how badly the entire thing has been handled. And uh, keep on reflecting back on Yanis Varoufakis' remarks way back when this whole thing began, just after the vote, saying, do not attempt to negotiate with the EU. They'll run you in rings. They don't want this to happen. They'll exhaust you. And unfortunately, that's precisely the trap that May fell into, making it worse for herself by calling a general election, believing she could d destroy the Labor Party, and instead she destroyed her own majority and lost any sense of authority she had in that parliament. So it's just been such a shambles. I would rather have stayed in bed on the day of the vote, but I haven't turned into a Remainer in that sense. Okay. So right now you're just looking at the least bad option, right? Yeah, the other, I mean, but my problem is whether you know, it's not the European Union is a very flawed institution, and its controls are forcing austerity upon the continent of Europe, creating depression levels of unemployment in Spain and, of course, in Greece, and slowing is it down. Because in, uh, they say they've they've created the prosperity. Uh, that otherwise struggling nations have seen in the last years. But that, that is a separate debate. Let's actually talk about what's yeah, happening yeah. now, because that's yeah, where we're yeah. at where we're at. Brexit is what it is right now. It's very unclear uh, what's going to happen in the next two months yeah. when that deadline uh, finally hits. So ideally, mm. what do you want to happen now, given the conditions, and that Theresa May's deal has been rejected? Given the conditions, I'd say just pull the, pull the whole thing off in that sense. Uh, the, the Conservatives were never ready for this. They always thought it would be a Remain vote that won. They then backfired in, the, as I said, the general election may call, which was itself a catastrophe. It's the old, uh, you call it, say, banana, I say banana, let's call the whole thing off. I'd rather say let's go back and stick in the EU and wait till somebody else bigger and more organised leaves, like perhaps Italy. Do you think others share your journey and your feelings at this moment? To some extent, they, they do, but I think the other side of it as well is there's a huge part of the what used to be the industrial heartland of Britain, which is now a welfare heartland. Uh, that part of the country will feel as aggravated as the Gilets jaunes do in France right now if this goes back to staying inside the European Union. So it's going to be a recipe for fractious debate no matter what. But I think the easiest thing is to say, let's you know, call it off, stick inside the European Union and wait until somebody more powerful than, the, than the England, uh, the UK rather, decides to leave. And, and, and certainly say breaking out of the, the Eurozone, breaking the Euro currency, I think, is the major thing that needs to happen. And of course, Britain has always been a sideshow in that particular event. Hmm, very interesting. Steve Keane, unfortunately, we're going to have to leave it there. Thanks so much, though, for sharing your opinion on TRT World. Oh.